Who runs Razor Town? Area DMG. Welcome back to Area DMG. I'm your host, Philip Wesley, the Mile High Mouth, and today we're going to talk about something that a lot of people need to do. And a lot of people who are fans of this particular group or this particular club often don't know the proper way to put together a, well, okay, I'm going to talk about Dollar Shave Club. For a moment. I know you're like, wait, is this a sponsored video? No, it's actually not. But Dollar Shave Club. It's a place that sells razors when they're not trying to sell you butt wipes or uh, toothpaste for some reason. Which, it's toothpaste with menthol. Pretty cool. And they also sell, like, shave butter. So you can make your shaving experience better, even if you're not using their razors and just shaving with a horrible rusty knife. Yay! <laughs> Anywho, don't shave with a horrible rusty knife. Shave with one of their razors. They have three different types. There's the 2X, the, sorry, the Humble Twin, the 4X, and then the Executive. This is the Executive, and this is what I'm going to talk to you about today. It's, a uh, well, I'm going to explain how to put a blade on an Executive razor from Dollar Shave Club safely, efficiently, and quickly. So... You wouldn't think that this would be so hard, but from what I've heard, it's it's a problem. So, let's take a look at this. This is the Executive Razor, right? Now, the Executive and the 4X actually have interchangeable blades. You can use the same blades on either one. So you can have the 4X handle and use Executive blades, and the Executive handle and use 4X blades, vice versa. The difference being that uh, the executive blade I guess is good for people if they're shaving their head and the 4X is good for people with thick beards because it has like like thick hair because it has a uh, space between the blades yeah well that's what they say anyways so when you order one of these things it comes with a cassette the cassette has four cartridges these cartridges are what we're gonna load into this right okay now the humble twin actually has like a weird little claw grip thing that that, yeah, we're not going to go into that, but this one has this little part right here, right? And then it's got this button. Now, the thing with the button is that this button, people break it off because they push it from the side right here, they push it from the side, they push on it too hard. Literally, you just need to put your hand like this, like cradle it right here, and then put your thumb on the little thing and lightly press it, right? You don't need to like, um, you'll note that a little thing comes out there. And that pushes the blade off of the handle. So, let's take one of these out of the cartridge thing. You know what? It's really easy. You just put the, put the handle here and lightly press and then pop up. Right? Lightly press, then pull it out like that. Now, Here's where people go a little wrong. It's hard, it's hard for many people to take this off of there. Here's what you do. Don't ever grab it by, uh, by this end or this end or, th or like this because there's actually a trimmer blade on the executive razor and it will cut you. It's for like trimming on the side or whatnot or trimming sideburns or eyebrows or uh, areas that you're sculpting. <clears throat> and uh, like sideburns or whatnot, sure, and uh, it will cut you. There's a blade right here. There's six blades here and a seventh blade right here. And most people don't know that's there, so they're all like, oh, I'm going to pull it. <gasps> and they cut themselves, and they're like, no, I've been bloody, bloody cut, cut, and I'm doomed. I'm dying. Oh, this razor has killed me. Oh, that, yeah. <laughs> so here's what you do. See these sides right here? They're plastic. Those sides are safe. And they're indented a little bit like this. Note that that's where you put your fingers. You put your fingers, your thumb and your forefinger, or point pointer finger, or accusation finger. Yes, pointing finger. 
thumb pointing finger. We're not going to go into what they call that one. Anywho, grab it right here, right? Got that? Got that? And then very lightly push and remove. You can hold it, push, on, off, on, off. You don't want to, I don't know what I'm doing, ah! Like that, you know, just hold it still, pop it on. If you can't hold it still, have someone else do it for you. But yeah, also, you just really need to lightly do this. Like, don't do this. That's a terrible idea. Right? But always grab it from the sides. Never. Yeah. You want to treat blades with an actual, re actual respect. Blades are sharp. You never... For example, let's say you're passing a knife to somebody. You never pass a knife to someone like this. Like, here, here's a knife. No. You grab it by the blade, keep the sharp pointy part away from you, then hand them the handle. Got it? Yeah. You need to treat blades on these things with that kind of respect. Also, you don't want to do, like, continuous stroking or whatnot when you're doing these things. You just want to be very careful with it. Oh, by the way... It's adjustable, but you want to never try and take it off like this because you do it like this, you're going to, you can still take it off, but it's going to be harder for you to do. In fact, it's actually like that so it doesn't, it locks it into place. You want to leave this in a neutral position, hold it still, hold this like this, then lightly, you'll see you like that, push it off. Down, in, push off. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Yep. And uh, that's how you do it. That is how you remove and replace a uh, executive razor on a, an executive blade from Dollar Shave Club. This will also work on another brand of razors, which is kind of similar. And uh, yeah, that's how you do it. Um, the 4X works the exact same way. There's just uh, differences in the handle and the grip of the handle and the weight of the handle and the feel of the handle. But generally, finger here. Finger on the butt, thumb on the button, hold the blade, like hold the sides of the blade, pop it off. There you go. Like I said, it's easy and it'll save you so much time, it'll save you so much frustration, and it'll save your fingers and hands because, hey, these are sharp. These blades are sharp. They're for shaving. They're sharp. And you should replace them often because they get dull pretty quick. So, uh, you know, eh, all razors do. So it's better to, you know, like maybe a week or two. You know, if you can sharpen them, which some people can, that's kind of cool. But eh, I don't really recommend that. I just, like, think people should use things as they're recommended for the most part. Although I'm a person who puts, like, a little bit of toothpaste. I don't put a huge amount on there because, hey, money. I'm trying to save money. And you should be stocking up on these anyways, because in the apocalypse, the person with the most of these razors is king. And if you're trying to plan your Mad Max future, oh yeah, you want a lot of these. You can be like, I control the razors. Because, you know, everybody's bald and a mutant, so they need these things to, like, shave their head. So they can be all like, ah, you're like, ha. There's Bullet Town over there. There's Water Town. There's Oil Town. And I, I run Razor Town. Who runs Razor Town? Come down to the Razor Dome. But yeah, um, let me know in the comments below what you think. It's pretty easy to do, and you can do it. Well, mostly people should do it. I don't think people who are not old enough to shave should do it, because that's a problem, you know? Don't. But yeah, if you're determined to use it, it's pretty easy to do. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Hit that thumbs up if you haven't already. Hit that share button if you haven't already. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And then make sure you ring that little bell so that you're notified <coughs> next time we have a new video here on Area DMG. And until the next video comes out, you are now caught up.